Hi, it's Hazel, and welcome to my channel, Hazel and Aka Design. This is going to be an incredibly, laughably easy video, and uh, most likely of most value to um, new journal makers, new uh, people to the whole um, sort of gamut of uh, paper crafting. Um, <coughs> <clears throat> Sorry for this cough that persists. Anyway, I have, I am committed, come hell or high water, to use more of the book pages that are um, <laughs> closing in around me. So what I've done is just put together some very simple ideas. Oh, I guess I should show you what I've done. Now, I, um, again, and I'm also, <laughs> like a good girl, um, throwing more stuff away. But I noticed um, that I had a very attractive, where might I find the cover sheet? Um... I threw the cover away. Okay, uh, this is the field guide to the birds of Australia. <coughs> nice sized pages and surprisingly enough, sewn in signatures. The cover was like a plastic waterproofy type thing. So basically, I removed all the signatures that have these gorgeous full page illustrations. And I also kept, well, the end papers. Thought they might have a use as well as, where did I put them? Oh, these, kind of like these index pages. So that could easily become like a, a belly band or something, which I didn't prepare for today. But um, so anyway, this is the book that I have basically been using for, using for the images. So I'll put that aside. <coughs> so, because you've never seen anyone glue anything be before, I'm going to do some gluing. But let me first show you what I've done. And I have to say that my, um, the thing that got me off the pot and <laughs> doing this today was that I watched a video yesterday. Because even though I've been at this for a while, I still am a sucker when I see easy <laughs> or five easy ways uh, to do something or other. And it was the House of Mahalo, uh, Justine at the House of Mahalo, who um, did the video. <coughs> I can link that in the description box. Anyway, um, of course, she did the... Um, I don't always find stuff that annoys me once I turn the camera on. I um, had one eye on the video and one eye on what I was doing. So I don't know that I got everything she was talking about. But hey, that's how it goes in the world of YouTube. So what I did <coughs> was... Um, well, I had... Okay, this paper is really old. Um, 100 years old, and I was able to, I took all the, um, the images, and they are one of my, they're a digital, and basically, I think this was the London one, if I'm not mistaken, so London Streetscapes. Anyway, I had to trim them to get it down to, I think, about eight inches. Yeah, eight just to be on the safe side. And I cut the white strip off on each side. So all I did was <coughs> marginally, I didn't pick a very good one to demo here, marginally um, narrowed the, the bird page down and just used it as a flip. So this is just more of the same because frankly, I am... Um, I want to have more things done in a mouse making way and more things ready to use. So 
in a signature. Oh, I started talking about this paper. It is so luscious. So, obviously, they can be on this side. The flip can be on this side, this side, this side, or this side. So, I won't bother showing you the rest. But I did all of these. Whole stack of them. Then I thought, well, that's quite a few of those. Why don't I make a number of pockets? Because, I mean, these are so beautiful. Now, I think they're not all the same height. I guess I must have shortened a couple and left the others full height. Because, yeah, so this is eight inches. These two are eight inches. Because if this gets clipped into a pocket in uh, a tall skinny, then the extra height can be, you know, accommodated. But again, so much easier to grab one of these than to, um, you know, think, oh, I, I really should make an envelope. And all I did was uh, used art glitter glue. I was trying to reach for a paper clip, but I don't need to. Um, so essentially, that's what I've got here. Again, I'm sure you've never seen glue before, so let me indulge you. I'm just doing a very narrow bead. Whoops. This is where you need nerves of steel to have a nice straight line. Oh, yeah, I've switched to this pin. Uh, the other day I was having so much trouble with this nozzle drying up even in the, the smallest amount of time, shortest amount of time, that um, I ended up taking it to the sink and just, you know, getting, uh, really flushing it out, and poking around with a skewer and, and so on. Okay, so done added to my pile then with the flip I basically um, just left one of these to show you oh I guess it, this is going to be another envelope um, and I didn't even bother in most cases trimming this off because like, what's the point people know that it's been salvaged from a book so sometimes we like scruffy and of course I could be using a glue stick but um, that's slower and we're in a hurry here today because this is easy peasy so naturally you have Whatever you have may be different from what I have. You may not have old, old books. You may not have field guides, although they are readily available. But whatever you have can be adapted to these ideas. Um, and I'll add this one to my pile. Where did my pile go? Oh. Uh, the other thing that Justine did... And of course, that's really nothing new to anyone who's been around a while, is attached um, an envelope. So I'm just going to quickly do that. It is, um, <coughs> actually for that I can use a glue stick. Um, I am going to, I'm making, you heard it here first, I am going to be um really purging a lot of book pages because they are not all created equal they shouldn't all be i shouldn't have kept them all um somehow i've never gotten into the habit which a lot of people do of and remember to leave a little teeny tiny space there so there's no binding when you fold it um, a lot of people will have a you know book block beside them and use it as a glue book. Somehow that, I don't know, I never got into that habit. I use old magazines or whatever. So now, of course, this can be decorated however you want to. 
one thing that I didn't do, and uh, it's worth checking out Justine's video for that very reason, is that she, well, let's pretend this is it. Um, she had an envelope, don't know size or whatever. Maybe it's a good thing I didn't use this book. And she, wait, do I remember? She ended up cutting open, um, no, wait, what did she do? I think she attached an illustrated page to the, oh my goodness. My memory, let me reassure you, my memory is really, really good. It's just a wee bit short. Um, sorry, I'm going to have to review. I did save her video. I forget, forget, forget I ever said anything. Um, so I'll put that aside. Now, the other thing I did, like at one point, I did a heck of a lot of fussy cutting. Like, <laughs> and these are all black and white images. So not old enough to scan, but it's, again, thick, pulpy type paper. So, of course, I intend to use them. And it seems that the only way to use them is to do it in bulk or do big batches. There is also, I was also cutting up a, um, like a book of, uh, oh, antiques you can decorate with. So nothing but black and white illustrations. You can see I still have a lot to do. Uh, you know, sometimes it's a choice. Do you get the gumball machine or do you get the hobby horse? So that is kind of my decision, my choice, my dilemma. Anyway, because I have already done all of these, I thought, well, it's high time I began using them. So I picked an old piece of, um, well, this is, um, this happens to work nicely because it's plain, but it's it was an old sheet of music, but it had some kind of bald spots. So I added a few, I added some dictionary pages, and maybe it was this way. Not that there's an up or down here, but I think this is the way I had it. Um, some dictionary pages and some other vintage paper. So then I kind of just picked a bit of a theme. So these are all chests or trunks or whatever you want to call them. I used this bad footboard or headboard because it that's how it was illustrated. So I'll have it bleed off the edge. A um, couple mirrors. And then I, th and this was a teeny weeny thing, so... I don't think I put these things where I had them before, but it doesn't matter. I inked around them just to save a bit of time. And I will just quickly glue them down to this master board. Now, if you're brand new um, and don't know about master boards, essentially it is a paper substrate of some kind. So it could be a large book page. It could be um, wallpaper or uh, wrapping paper or uh, people have even used that wide, I think it's about 12 inches wide, that stuff that they call painter's mask. Um, I guess professional painters use it when they want to mask off a certain area. So uh, this one happens to be all black and white because that's what I wanted because my black and white images. Um, so basically, it, I think a lot of us, let me speak for the world here, I think a lot of us love doing collages. Like, if there was a future in collages, <laughs> I think I could happily collage for the rest of my days. Um, uh, anyway, the, um, the idea is to have a few elements, 
um, oh, I'll use our glitter glue on that one. Um, have a few elements, you know, put them around, like spread them around. If I had, if I was doing this in color, I would kind of make sure that, you know, there isn't a, a concentration of color all in one space. And then, you know, like I try to keep it fairly even. Um, and then, of course, there's really no, basically what I'm doing here is kind of just making a base. And I tend to do these whenever I feel the the urge and just keep them. Um, and then when I need um, something like uh, I could this could be used as um, a journal cover. It could be cut into tags. It could be used as a signature page if it's not overly thick, um, that sort of thing. So when I when I have a need, uh, then I can just pull the the master board out and, uh, and use it. I know I've shown this multiple times, but again, if you're brand new, maybe you don't know about this brilliant idea. Uh, oh, this isn't it. Sorry, I'll just reach for it. It's right here. I first saw Gail Augustinelli do this, and I thought it was genius, so naturally I copied it. This is just a bigger book. Eh, 11 by 8 and a quarter. And I do my master boards in here. And I do them. Sometimes I, I do the backing as well, like with some... You know, paper that is, you know, could be written on. Anyway, I do, 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 do. And then, look at these. <laughs> One day I was uh, using, um, oh, what do you call it? A little golden book. So that's waiting to be used. Here's another page. This was just all the same kind of interesting uh, color of ink, and that's all I have in this book. Anyway, so that's a good way to do it. In this case, I had this piece of paper nearby, and I just wanted to get on with it and do it. Um, so, yeah, this, the beauty, like the, sorry, the ones that I have done, that I've done on ugly scrapbooking paper or um, something else, um, you know, in other words, not in the book. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, where's that bed? Let me put that bed in before I use up that space. Um, those I have in file folders. Uh, well, a file folder in my filing cabinet. But, of course, quite often it's out of sight, out of mind. So, the nice thing about the book is that it kind of keeps them, you know, a little more front of mind. Boy, that's kind of close. Um... I could cut I could cut a chiffonier in half and add it to the another thing that I think is going to be a cool one but I didn't want to use, well I could see how much collage I have a couple of busts that I could use if I need to but look at this fistful let me get it let me get it let me get it of clocks wouldn't that be a beautiful one this may very well be a pea pot <laughs> uh, wait what do you call it? chamber pot you know back in the day before plumbing this is quite small if I feel a gap I could add that as well 
But again, as I've said, this is just a, um, maybe I should add it. Oh, I have to, I have to ink it. Um, this is, oh, cover up, cover up, cover up. Um, this is just a base, really. I'm using gathered twig. Somehow I find it a little more pleasing a color than uh, vintage photo. I mean, I have vintage photo and I use it sometimes, but. I stabbed myself. Um, so of course, depending on where this ultimately gets used, I could add some color. Uh, sometimes people add postage stamps or um, even lace or ribbon. Um, stickers, you know, pretty well anything you have in your stash that you want to, uh, that you want to throw into the mix. This is like a stew. Uh, let me glue this guy down and that one, and then we will, oh, that could, oh no, I have one more idea to show you. Again, none of this is new in any sense of the word, other than maybe this is a bit different in that it's just all line drawings. And because we like line drawings, I think a lot of us have these uh, black and white images and maybe sometimes you're a bit boggled about how to use them. One more guy. So typically, no, I don't have to do any backing because it already is ready to go. Um, so typically, I would just put this under my, well... For now, I'll just put it under there. It helps keep it flat. Um, yeah, it will definitely need something else when the time comes. Okay. So the last thing I wanted to show you is I had some scrap. Okay, I showed you all those illustrations, black and white illustrations. And then I, this is not pure white. So I had to look at some of my scraps that were, uh, you know, had more of a yellowish cast to them because I didn't want that contrast. I didn't, and I have black paper, uh, but I didn't want to use black because then if this ends up being a journaling card, which would be my intention, um, they would not, you can't write on black paper, especially if your white gel pen is dried up like my white gel pen has dried up. So what I did before turning on the camera was just um, find, oh, that would be hard to write on too. Maybe I need to switch to Runo. So basically, just roughly, without even measuring, just eyeballing it, came up with these different mats for the different illustrations and if I find okay it'd be hard to see I guess I could live with that they're not all identical obviously this one is just a plain kind of creamy this one is a kind of a nice so I just have a whole slug of these to glue down. Um, you know, it, it's surprising. 
I know all about mathing things, but most of the time I don't think of doing it. And that, oh, this is cute. Uh, most of the time, I mean, that's why I appreciate watching even um, videos intended for beginners because it serves as a reminder. Um, you know, sometimes people use cardstock as a mat around their items. Sometimes people use, you know, vintage book page. I'm thinking that this will become, that these will become um, journaling cards. So they should definitely have, um, you know, a, a nice clear surface at the back too. Um, to write on. So, I think, my dears, that is all I wanted to show you. So, expect to see more book page ideas. <laughs> Maybe not all quite as simple as this, as this video was. But again, as a reminder to use the pages and, and the lesson that I'm reminding myself of is at the point of origin <laughs> at that first decision point ask myself is it worth saving the pages are are they will I use them obviously if they're old and feel wonderful or have that provenance to them the answer will be yes. If they require too much work or are run-of-the-mill, I'm going to just begin chucking them out because um, that's just, you know, it's the whole use it, don't store it uh, scenario. So I hope this has either been... Um, news to you <laughs> in which case um good or a reminder that uh how much fun master boards are and how we can continue to um to use up our things if we just remind ourselves of some of these very basic ideas hey back to basics anyway thank you so much for joining me i um appreciate your support. I see that we're closing in on 800 subscribers as I'm doing this. Uh, what day is it? March 16th. So uh, hopefully we get over that hump and uh, start cruising towards 1000. Anyway, if you haven't already subscribed, I would ask you to do so. If uh, Oh, and I should do my plug for Kim. Uh, Kim Newberg is looking to uh, hit the 4,000 subscriber mark. So please check her out her channel, look at her freebies at her coffee shop. Um, she's got a few different playlists that she does. She's also the creator of the Happy Mail movement. And um, yeah, anyway, guys, thank you. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.